Welcome back guys. In this episode, we're putting in a water filtration system. Let's get started. Okay, so what do we need to do in order to finish this? Well, we've got to finish the foundation on this end. Uh, that's almost done. Uh, we need to get this staircase built up here. We've got, uh, we've got to fill in where this scaffolding is. We've got to fill that in with terrain. And then uh, we need a whole load of pumps up here. Let's start doing some pumps. I've already removed a section of path around here. So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to get power. We're going to put... <laughs> am I going to put a four-way? I am. I'm going to put in a four-way. And then we'll get, uh, let's see, straight shaft to there, straight shaft to there. Right. They can get around the back. They can build all of that. Here go the last couple of connectors. Boom, boom. All right, cool. Can you tell how excited I am? It's ridiculous. Okay, so we have pump goes in there. Flip it around. Pump goes in there. Right, all we've got to do now is get those build built. And then we put in the next two pumps and the next two pumps. And it's just rinse and repeat. How are we going to get these built quickly? That's the question. Well, if we come over here, you'll notice I've put in a couple of platforms here and here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in a couple of medium warehouses. Uh, assuming that I've done this right, which, yes, I have. Good. So, medium warehouse there, medium warehouse there. These are going to be used for storing gears. We need three things to build the pumps. We need gears, we need treated planks, and we need metal. So, this one over here, I'm going to set this one up for, uh, let's say, metal. And then this one, I'm going to set up for treated planks. There we go. Uh, set that to obtain, set that to obtain. Right, all of these other ones can go now. Okay, let's let them get those built. Oh, we're getting treated planks up here. That's good. We're getting metal blocks. That's good. We've got a decent stock of uh, treated planks. We've got 1.6K. We've got 3.3K of metal, and we've got 4K of gears. Now, how many? It's 100 per pump. We're putting in uh, 28 pumps. Uh, let's see, it's uh, it's 14, 14, 28, 50. We're putting in 56 pumps. In fact, we might be putting in 58 pumps. I think we're putting in 58 pumps. I'll explain why later. Uh, so that means we'd need, what, 5,800 gears. <laughs> yeah. Well, in the blink of an eye, they're done. <laughs> I was looking at, I just had a quick look at something else, and I come back and they're done. Okay, maybe, maybe this is going to be a quick process. Wouldn't that be nice? Let's uh, let's get rid of the next piece of path. Let's come out about there, and and get the next pumps in. I want like I'm kind of interested interested to see just how quick they put these in. And yeah, I would imagine this is going to happen fairly. Yeah, they're taking the stuff from the storages. Yeah, they're going to build these as long as we've got good stock. I think they're going to build these. That one's already 50% complete. <laughs> um, really? Oh, I was just going to say, really, we need this completed so I can use these storages. And guess what? They've completed it. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do some tidying up. I'm going to rip these out. Okay, much tidier. Okay, so uh, now we'll start on the, the front row. So let's put in, again, I'm going to, I'm going to throw in a four-way there. We're going to have... Power cables coming up to there and up to there. Uh, no, there. Then there's going to be uh, pumps going on from that point on both sides. Let's get that built. We can continue putting in the pumps on the back. So pumps going to go in there and there. Okay. Yeah, I think this is going to happen really, really quickly. In that case, I think uh, now that we've finished this over here, we can start on the process of filling this in. <laughs> Exciting times. Let's see. The drought only lasts another 3.3 days. And then we've got water coming through here. Uh, but you know what? Let's just let's just get started, I think. So I'm just going to put in this row for now, I think. So let's just get this put in. Now, how high am I going to go? That's the question. And what I want, and what I'm trying to see, and it's very difficult to see, is where, where it comes down to. At the best. So it's a six tile gap, so it'd be, that's three, four, five, so it would come to there. So we can go up a bit higher. So we'll take it up to there. Let's see, 
this way to yeah that's one below the level of this trench uh that will let some water in though won't it probably um no oh, no it, it shouldn't go over one tile high now that should be look how quickly they're doing that <laughs> they've already done the bottom three layers yeah and i'm running it on slow and they've already done you know what let's crank this up how quickly do they do because this is all they've got to do this is this is just going to be crazy fast oh my goodness <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually thinking we could probably get this completely filled in before before the water got here. But we need to wait for the pumps. So, yeah, again, that happened really quickly. Are you going to get these two pumps finished? Let's see, what are you up to? I uh, just need some gears. Oh, that one's getting built. Wow. I thought that, honestly, I thought this was going to take, like, quite a while to get done. Uh, I just need to make sure that I put these pumps in the right way around. Because <laughs> it's easy. To lose your focus. Now, why have I got this too wide? Right, because it only needs to be one wide sky. Why have you made this channel too wide? And it's because there's a particular effect, um, which is the water, the actual water coming down. If this is only one wide, you don't see the water coming down. I, I don't know whether it's a visual glitch or whether it's supposed to be like that, but. The water doesn't have a chance to pull. Uh, and But if you have two tiles, you get that effect. And we definitely want that effect. Although it is only going to be temporary. Um, because it's going to go away eventually. But I want to show it to you. Because I want to get your opinion for stuff that I'm going to do in the future. You, you'll understand. You'll understand later. Okay, the drought just ended. We're on cycle 64, day one. And we can watch the water. <laughs> And here it comes. And the water is very, very slowly going to start to fill up. Get up to here and then spill over the edge. But it, it takes it takes almost a day for this to get up to full flow. By the way, in case you're interested, uh, these produce uh, 14 units of water. So now you might look at this and go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, you mean 16, Sky. No, I don't. I do mean 14. This one and this one uh, produce two. This one and this one, no, sorry. This one and this one only produce one. They've only got a strength of one. And then these two are two. You add that up and it's 14. Here we go. It's starting to speed up now. Filling up. Should we go, should we go around to the front? Because we want to see it spill over, don't we? Okay, let's go around the front. How cool is this going to look? Here it comes. The answer is very cool. <laughs> Waterfalls are cool, right? Well, you guys are in for a treat with this. Because this is going to be a big waterfall. All right, cool. Now, hopefully, that's not flooding into the trench. No, it's not. So that's working well. Good. Okay. How are we doing? Um, the answer is they've done all the pumps that I put in. We've come to the end of the wet season. And now we've got a bad tide coming in. This, oh, look at it change colour. <laughs> that is awesome. And it just gets redder and redder and redder. I, this is so cool. <laughs> this is so cool. It's a, sh it's a shame that we're not going to have something like that where it changes colour. That would be really cool. I should have done something like that. But I can't, I can't think of a use for it. That's the problem. Um, is that the right way? Yes, that's the right way around. Put the next one in there. Uh, I can put the next one in here because what I'm doing is putting in the next one and making sure that this one's set to high priority so that they finish that one first and then they can do that one. Okay, they've just put in the last pump. So we've completed the back row completely, which is um, kind of awesome. I've just been looking at uh, our stocks. Treated planks is low. We're down to 200. Uh, that's only enough to, for like four pumps. Uh, metal, uh, metal's pretty good. We've got 1.8k, so that's not a problem. Uh, gears is 1.4k, but we've we've already got all of our gear production turned on. So I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. Now, what can I do about the wood workshops producing treated planks? How can I get them producing treated planks faster? Well, I think the easiest way is to go back to our old industry and turn these three on. 
So, so I use the P key again. Go on then. No, I'm not going to. I, I prefer doing it this way anyway. <laughs> so there you go. We've got, uh, we've just doubled our production. In fact, we've more than doubled our production, really, because we've got some of the planks, from of, some of the treated planks from here are being used by the mine. So, yeah. We've got, hopefully, more than twice the supply coming in to build these pumps. Right, now I've got to decide uh, what do I do next. And I think, am I going to do these ones first? I think I'm going to do these ones first. I'm not sure why. Yeah, I'm going to do these ones first. I have figured something out, which is very cool. So let me let me start ripping this out and I'll tell you. Uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah, rip that out and, yeah, rip all of this out. Um, I was trying to figure out how I could actually turn this on during a bad tide. See, the thing is, we've got to build this wall up to get the power line run across so that we can start powering all of the pumps. Well, that's a bit of a problem. And then it occurred to me, just now, that I can run a power cable across the back here on these. Uh, and, and that'll be fine. We can run that into there. And then I can either just leave it alone, or if I want to, uh, when, when the front wall is complete, I can run a, a power line across the front wall on top of the terrain, and then get rid of this and get rid of the trestles. So, yeah, I'm not sure I'm not sure which I'm going to do. I'm not sure which I'm going to do. What, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I remember. I was demolishing all of this stuff. Which means that this is now redundant, so I can rip that out as well. But most importantly, I can start putting more pumps in. Uh, it's got to go around that way. Okay. We'll set that to high priority. Now, I like if I wanted to, I could put platforms in in here and have a path running around here so that they could use these. But to be honest, it's almost as far as bringing it from the storages over here. So I, I, I really don't think it's worth the effort. Okay. Um, I will get these all put in. Um, this can go as well, can't it? Yeah, I'll rip that out. We'll get all this put in. I would imagine I'm going to rip this staircase out, rip this staircase out. Uh, I think we're done with these excavators, so I can rip those out as well. Yeah, I'm going to rip those out. Have I got any use for them right now? I'm thinking not. I'm thinking not. So, no, nope, they're going. They're going. Goodbye. And rip those out. Okay. Right, the haulers can uh, can grab that stuff, and that actually gives us like a whole bunch of um, metal. What is it? Metal and treated more treated planks, which is good. So yeah, I don't think we're going to have any problems with the with the stock for getting these these done now. I was trying to think how we can um, how we can speed this up a little because it's it's slowed down quite a lot as you can imagine because we're not we're not building anything on this side and we're just doing these one at a time. Uh, those aren't too bad, but this side I'd like to get going. So I was thinking. What about if I put I could put some storage in here, couldn't I? Yeah, yeah. If we put two lots of platforms in there, oh yeah, we can do. Yeah, we can definitely do this. Uh, if I change the path, uh, actually, if if I change the path so that it goes that side, then yeah, I've got enough room to put in some stairs there. Put in some stairs there. Yeah, and I've still got room to put in, a, not a small warehouse. I could put in a small warehouse, but a medium warehouse is what I wanted to put in. Yeah, that works. So then we want large industrial pile, large industrial pile. Right, so as soon as that's built, I can set these to empty, fill those up, and then I can get the rest of these built. Oh, yeah. And then once that's done, then I can put in the power lines to connect these two together. And yeah, I, th I think we're I think we're getting pretty close to having this done. I can put the next pump in here. Awesome. We've only got we've only got four to put in on this end. So uh, pump 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 goes there. Make sure you got it the right way around. Yes, I have. Awesome. Uh, I'm looking at this and thinking, uh, what can I do here? You know what? I can I can start putting this this power line in, can't I? Yes, I can. So power line. I can put the first two pieces in because they can go around the back and do those. Then th that piece I've got to do, and then and then I can do the whole of that line. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can do that now, can't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get uh, demolish tool. Uh, y you know what? I can actually take that out now. And I can take that piece out, can't I? Yes, I can. Excellent. Why have I gone to water? And then I can put all of those bits in. Now, how far am I going to go? Uh, you know what? Let's just get that bit put in for now. I, I still want to keep both of these two dirt piles. Now, I could, I suppose I could use these two, but I'd like to use these two for getting this filled in. Well, I've still managed to strand two beavers doing that. Can't put that piece in. Take that out. Okay, those two beavers can get out. Right, now we can get rid of that path and put in uh, that bit. Get that bit built, then we can build that bit, and then we can build that bit. Awesome. Uh, I want to get started on filling this in. Uh, let's see. As long as I can get to there, I could rip this out, couldn't I? And start filling that in. Yes, I could. Uh, is there any issue with doing that? I don't think so. Uh, like, none that I can think of off the top of my head. Well, okay. Let's, let's start doing it then. So I rip that out. And, that, in fact, just rip it out right to the bottom. And that one. And another one. Is there another one? Yes, there is. My God. It's only when you're ripping it out you realise how deep it goes. Okay. Uh, are we at the bottom? Yes, we're at the bottom now. So now we can grab... Uh, not storage. Landscaping. Terrain blocks. And start filling this in. Now, the question is, how high can I go? Uh, and the answer is, same height as the other one in front. So, I think that's going to be about... About that high-ish. Maybe one more. Yeah, two more. Oh, this is awkward, isn't it? One and two. Is that the right height? Yeah, that looks like the right height. Okay. Okay. And look how fast that's getting done. <laughs> I'm always shocked when the beavers do things quickly, but like the dirt is right there. So it's just like boom, 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 boom. Awesome. Now, why? Why has that flooded? Okay, well, that's not great. Fortunately, though, we already have our decontamination pods. So uh, shouldn't be a problem. But why has that flooded? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, well, never mind. It does mean that I'm going to have to get, like, get this bad water out of here somehow. Uh, that's not an ideal situation. So I think what we'll do is start filling this in. Which is not what I wanted to do. Because I'm going to fill it in now and then I'm going to dynamite it later. Uh, but there's, there's nothing else for it. How on earth? How on earth did that flood? And, like, even worse, as well, fortunately, none of it's gone into here. I guess it's just got disturbed as we've been filling that in. And just that extra little bit of water has just flooded over into here. That is really blooming annoying, I have to say. Oh, well, it is what it is. Don't complain about it. Just get on with it. I mean, I would hope that it won't take our terrain guys long, but this is wasting the little supply of dirt that I've got, which is really annoying. Honestly, why the hell did that happen just from building a few tiles here? Really? It splashed over that much? I, I, I failed to see why the water physics did that. Oh, well. I'm not happy about this. I've got to say, I'm not happy about this, but it is what it is. Let me get these filled in and let me figure out, like, like how, do I, how do I even get there? Uh, oh, I can just put a, put a platform across there. So that at least gives us access. Let's maybe give that a priority. That's crazy. Well, as you can see, I've decided to just fill the blooming things in completely because it's just easier. But uh, I'm, I'm really annoyed about that. You know what? I thought this was going to be a really, really easy build. And it's turned out to be um, more complicated than I thought it was going to be. It, I mean, 
Is it still fun? Well, you know what? It was really fun up until that. That's just annoyed me. It's like, why? Why just from filling a few tiles in? Would it do that? That's just crazy. I mean, it, I guess it's just splashed each time we've built a tile. It's just splashed onto here. And it's been filling this in but bit by bit. I, I still can't believe that it's had that effect. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, in which case, it kind of terrifies me for doing the next bit. So I'm going to have to put in, I guess, some protection of some description. So... Like if I if I built a bit of a wall like that on that side and I'd need it there, wouldn't I? Yeah. Okay, they've put our little protective walls in. Now, I don't know about you guys, but stuff like that makes me curious. So I've taken out the next row of the scaffold and I want to see how that happened. So let's get some terrain blocks. Flip them around. And I'm going to throw terrain blocks in. And we'll get them up to the same height, hopefully. Uh, I think that's one lower. Yep, that's one lower. And then one more. Okay. Right, guys, start building that. And I want to see what happens to the water. And I do realise that filling this in like this is going to cause this water to spill out. And I'll probably get some more contaminated beavers. But I, that's not my priority right now. So now our terraformers should come up here, start doing it. And we should see... What the hell happened to the water here? Come on, terraformers, get up here and, and start doing this. Look, look what it's doing to the blooming water. Yeah, that's what's doing it. Look at that. That's, whoa, there is no, I'm sorry. There is no way you can anticipate that behavior. That's ridiculous just from filling in a few tiles. Okay, um, let's stop that. I'm gonna set the priority to uh, very low. Oh, it's still bouncing around. Look at it, look at it flooding. Just for, oh, no, no, no. What the, okay, what the hell? Okay, that's, that's freaking crazy. And now all my beavers are gonna, run through it to go on f like really god i could give these beavers a good slap i really could wow i never expected that in a million years look it's still flooding why what the hell is wrong with you water calm down okay stop ranting sky it is what it is just get these filled in and get over it Okay, look at this. We actually had some contaminated water spill over. Oh, man. That's not good. <laughs> like, yeah. That's really... Re oh, thank God. It was such a small amount that it's, uh, it's evaporated. Okay, that would have been really, really not good. Okay. Uh, I need to make sure that this doesn't spill over here, don't I, really? So I, I should probably uh, get this end done first and push the water that way. Yeah, that would be a good plan. That would be a good plan. Well, it's cycle 65, day one. And I'll be honest with you, I thought we'd be done by now. I honestly thought that we'd be done by now. This has caused havoc. Uh, well, at least uh, we've got this side almost filled in. Uh, there's one tile there to fill in. Why wasn't that filled in? I don't know. Let's get that filled in. Uh, let's make that a priority. And I'm working on this side. <laughs> uh, I want this to get pushed out. Taken away. And then we can worry about this. Now, if this gets mixed into here, these floodgates may close temporarily, but that's fine. That'll all be taken care of. So it's just a case of getting this filled in and getting this bad water out of here. Wow. <laughs> and look at this. 19 beavers have been contaminated. 20. How are they still getting contaminated? Okay, that I don't understand. Well. <laughs> this game, it's always got surprises. It's always got surprises. Okay, a, a bit of good news at last. We have power to all the rear pumps. Wow. 
Now, we're producing uh, 14 units of water from these water sources, so we have to take care of that. Each one of these pumps deals uh, caters for uh, 0.5 of a unit, so and a unit being a CMS. So we need 28 pumps to deal with this water. So I have put in, for the pure water, I've got 28 pumps. There's 14 and 14. But for the bad water, I wanted to make sure that we were over that. So I've actually put in, there's, there's 13 across here, and then, oh God, I don't know, <laughs> let's see, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 across here. So that's, um, that's the same as 14 and 14 plus 2. If that, if that makes any sense. Where are we going? No, I don't know why you're overcomplicating it. It's, it's just, just say it the way it is. Okay, fine. Okay, I've been having a think about how I can actually like finish this during the bad tide. Because um, I've got to, I've got to take out uh, these scaffolds and fill this up. But I don't trust the water. I mean, we've already had it flood into here once. Uh, I just don't trust it. But maybe, maybe there's a way to do it. If we finish this front wall, which is what I'm going to do. So here we go. Get all of this done, guys. Uh, and I'm going to take this up to the top. Oh, yeah. Right up to the top. Okay, the water has already stopped and is going to start going into the trench. Oh, and you can see that the pumps are pumping bad water. Now I have checked, double checked and triple checked. And then I checked again that these are all set to bad water and the ones on the front are all set to water. And you can see that these are all pumping bad water. The bad water is going along here, going along here. Now, these are all pumping bad water, all pumping bad water, all the way to the end. Now, if we look, what kind of depth do we have? Let's... And the answer is, uh, we're at about, what, two tiles? Yeah, about two tiles depth. What I'm hoping now is that I can fill this in and this doesn't overflow here. If this jumps up more than four tiles, then I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm I don't know. I'm going to throw my computer out the window or something. Well, I can see the water jumping around already. Oh, that's... No, that's the right height, actually. That's the level of the channel, which is the height that we want to be at. Let's bring this all the way back like that. Cool. How high is the water jumping? That's the question. And it's... Oh, my, look! <laughs> Why? Why is it doing that? Oh, my God. That's it. That better not... That, I Seriously, that better not go over i'm gonna be very cross if it does no it seems it seems to be contained my god have you ever seen anything like that it's seriously it's like somebody setting bombs off <laughs> underwater that is crazy let's zoom in and watch it Come on, doing it. Boom. It's so it's just like somebody setting off sub, uh, depth charges in a World War II submarine film. <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> I, maybe I just need to let the water settle down. You know what? We're going to do that. But I'm going to put in a stream gauge. Uh, where can I put in a stream? Uh, you know what? I can put in a stream gauge, I think, on this corner, maybe. Okay, well, look at this now. Um, slightly different. Look. Uh, first of all, it's really low. Now that it's settled down, and if we look at these, you can see all of these are pumping. Now, what I would expect is for, um, let's say, we've, we've, we've got 14 units of water coming up here, so it would take 28, 28 pumps to pump all of that out. Uh, and we've got 30. And if we look... Oh, look! The last two pumps. It, it's sparrow... It's sporadic. See, this one sometimes doesn't pump out, in which case it's going to spill over to the other two. But most of the time, these two aren't pumping, which is what we would expect. Now, I can do the I can do the front part, can't I? Yeah, let's let's get that done. So um, oh, it doesn't matter. It's a, it's a single row, so it doesn't matter which direction it's pointing. Actually, yes, it does. 
because if I had it pointing that way or that way, they can only do them one at a time. So, so that was horse manure, Sky. Thanks for the thanks for the really bad advice. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Consider becoming a patron. <laughs> oh, I'm losing it. I really am losing it with this build. My God, this has been a pain. Like from in from the first thought I had about doing this, right till now, everything has been a nightmare. Oh, good lord. But it's all it's all nice and smooth now. What's uh, what's this, what does this stream gauge say? Depth 1.09. So that's working well. Uh, 5.3 days to go till the till the good water arrives, and I've just realised that. <laughs> I've forgotten. I need two extra pumps in here. And also, I've got to dynamite that as well. Um, but you know what? Pause. I've got to get this done pretty quickly. What am I trying to do? Um, dynamite. Dynamite there and there and there. Right. The bad tide is just about to end. And this is what the last two episodes have all been about. <laughs> oh, let's turn off the hood. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> was it worth waiting for? Oh, I think it was. So the uh, the good water is mixing with the with the bad water and then it's making its way around. And as it does, each one of these pumps comes on and starts pumping water. And this is what I wanted you to see was the, the glorious waterfall that it creates. I'm thinking that this needs to be a feature of the map not necessarily in the form it is now but we need this don't we 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 need a great big waterfall with the the water cascading down i mean that is something to see now i i debated endlessly over exactly how i was going to do this there's, there's all kinds of different effects that you can get with, with this kind of waterfall. Like for example, you can have these um, all at the same height like this. Uh, you can have them staggered. So take this one down an extra tile or I mean, you could have V shapes. You can have it multi-level. There's about a million things that you can do. And I've played around with most of them, which is where a lot of my time went. That is really, really nice. Can you understand now why I want this to be uh, circulating around the map? and getting pumped in so that we get this all year round. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There's still a lot of um, final decisions to be made. Like, like this could be a reservoir, right? I could build a wall up to here and make this into a reservoir. Um, if, I, if I did that, then what shape would the reservoir be? Um, do, do I do it in like um, a quarter circle um, or some other shape? Uh, do I do I still have these but like on the outer wall? So this would be potentially a massive reservoir and then we'd have the water cascading down the outside and then basically build up this kind of thing outside the reservoir so that the reservoir overflows still with this kind of design and then and then we, and then cascades down down these rocks and then off into the map. I mean there's a there's a, there's a million things that you can do. And what it like to be honest, whichever one you pick is going to look good. Oh, I I love it. I love it. I love it. Did I enjoy the experience? No, no, I didn't. I hated it. <laughs> but oh, now it's over. Oh wow, so many things, so many things we can do. And of course, we've got the dam here. So now we've got all of this water captured. Uh, I mean, seriously, it's like, where do I begin? I know, I, I think I actually know where I'm going to begin in the next episode. But, wow. We, we can now completely unlock the potential of this map and do whatever the hell we want. So if you've got crazy ideas for what you think I should do, now is the time. Leave me a comment and tell me what should I do. Um, reservoirs. What should I do about reservoirs? What should I do about routing the water through the map? Um, should it be a very natural map or should it be a very artificial map with, I don't know, geometric shapes, uh, squares and circles? I have considered having like um, like circular forests around the place and stuff um, and, and like geometric canals running through. I mean, there's so, there's so many options. Come on, guys. You've got to be able to think of something 
and leave me a comment and let me know how would you like the map to develop all right we're gonna leave it there for this episode man i hope you've enjoyed my misery and suffering i know picture has she always does picture do you want to say goodbye bye see you guys we'll catch you for the next one i think things are about to become exciting peace out